Hello, this is Tofu from Trifo Production with another Blender Quick Tip for beginners. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can easily generate rocks a lot easier in Blender 2.8 and above as opposed to the other uh, ways that I've done videos on the same uh, process. And it's just pretty much straightforward. In 2.8 and above, I'm using uh, 2.82, uh, but in 2.8 and above, there's a built in rock generator which I just found out this found this out probably like about a week ago but let's let me show you how to how to access it let me delete this cube then go up to edit <coughs> excuse me preferences then here you type an extra in the search bar and then when you see add mesh extra objects put a check mark a check mark in the box let's close this out then type in shift in your keyboard and from the pop-up menu, just go to Rock Generator, which is right there. Click on that, and then there's your rock. Now you can, it's got a lot of uh, parameters you can adjust, like the number of rocks, and scaling on the x-axis, the y-axis, the z-axis, and skewing it on those individu individual axes, I guess that's how to say it. And then you can, um, <coughs> excuse me, you can displace the uh, textures by clicking this box. And you can mess with the deformation, the roughness, the detail level, and so on and so forth. But I've seen that when you do all that stuff to this particular rock generator, it really messes up the rock a lot. Like, really, really bad. I mean, so much so I'm not going to even try to uh, display this because it's going to actually cause Blender, Blender to lag and even make it crash. I'll give you an example, though, a slight example of what I'm talking about. A uh, number of rocks let's uh, bump it up to three and as you can see it's not that intuitive it actually places all the rocks at the same uh, spawn point so to speak I'm saying spawn but it creates at the same point all the rocks at the same point which I don't know why it does that usually with the rock generator if you increase the number of rocks it will line them up along one of the ax one of these axes either the Y or the X but for this one, it just uh, populates them all in, in the same place. So if you want to create multiple rocks, just do it one at a time. And that's how pretty much all of the parameters act. It's just really rough. But basically, it does, it does create good rocks when you use the uh, presets. Let's pump this down to one. And the presets is all you really need to use in terms of using this uh, rock generator in 2.8 and above. Because they're pretty good. The presets are pretty good. So we can do a fake ocean, which is this. You can create ice, ice rock, which doesn't look bad. Uh, sandstone. Now, this out of, out of all the rock presets, this is the coolest looking one. The sandstone rocks. It looks pretty, really, really good. Asteroid. And. Usually it doesn't look like this, but this is how it would look if you mess with these parameters. It gives you this pixelated, uh, pixelated result of a mesh, which I don't know why it does that. I think it's a bug or something. But if this happens, just press W on keyboard, and from the pop-up menu, click on Shade Smooth, and it'll fix this. Uh, River Rock. It looks pretty good. And that's the last one. Let's go back to the default rock. So yeah, this is the rock generator that's in, available in 2.8 and above. It's built into Blender. As I said before, it's not great, but it does get the job done. When you want to create rocks in Blender using the uh, rock generator for 2.8 and above, just create one rock at a time. And don't mess with these parameters at all. Just be on the safe side. Just use the presets. And that's today's Blender quick tip and, and uh, creating rocks in Blender 2.8 and above with the built-in rock generator and once again I thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel and those of you who are subscribing now thank you guys who have been watching these videos and those of you who are watching now and those of you who will subscribe in the future really appreciate all of you guys and I will see you guys on the next one right adios